Welcome to the Living Lighter Show. I am your host, Sally Thibault. I can't wait to share this with you, my top 10 tips to help you get through Christmas without added stress or added weight. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Living Lighter Show today. Proudly brought to you, and I don't, I'm very, very excited to share this, uh, my brand new sponsor, NAS Cosmetics. Um, now, you may remember a couple of weeks ago now, uh, I had Jen Hines on the show, and I had the opportunity on Saturday to do one of Jen's amazing workshops. And can I tell you, I'm just sold on this product. Um, for a product that is uh, no toxins, no chemicals, uh, cruelty-free, vegan-free, and gives this incredible um, coverage. And uh, I'm excited that Jen's come on as a sponsor of the show. And uh, and I'm, as I said, if you, if you haven't seen the story yet um, on Jen, it was on about two weeks ago, I think, maybe. Um, it's here on the page somewhere. And it's NAS Cosmetics. I'll pop a uh, link in the comments later on in the show. But uh, check out Jen's website. Um, she's got some great products. And on her Facebook page, by the way, the NAS Cosmetics Facebook page, is a quiz you can do to find out your skin type. So uh, it's a great product. I'm loving it. And uh, and I'm very excited at um, how wonderful coverage. And as I said, it's just, it just feels so light on your skin. Just beautiful, beautiful. So thanks, Jen, for the, coming on as a sponsor for the show. Um, I love the fact that I can um, share with you, you know, great products as well um, in this journey to Stronger Lean Alida. So good morning, everybody. I'm just going to say a quick hello. Hey, Deborah. Thank you. Yeah, well, we're getting there, Deb. <laughs> I'm doing the curly girl bit. So, um, yeah, we're getting there. Hey, Nicole. Nice to see you. Oh, you love Naz too. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Just the thought that you're putting makeup on your skin and it's good for your skin as well um on saturday when we did the product and i came home at night and, and uh, took it off i was just amazed how easily it came off so the last thing we need right now do you add any more stress to my skin you know and i'm on the other side of 50 way on the other side of 50. Um, i'm really excited to share this um show with you today because what I want to do is give you some strategies and tips to help you get through Christmas. It's been an extraordinary year. I don't have to share that. You, we all know it. Um, and the stress has um, been hard for many people. And it's impacted on our lives and it's impacted on our bodies. And throughout Christmas, you know, you may be catching up with family, may or may not have some, you know, shared ideas um it just made me stressful i know for me it's particularly tough this year because you know we're separated from our kids again uh, this is the second year in a row we haven't been with our children i'm feeling quite you know i have to really ground myself um no they're okay they're all right they're in canada but the lockdowns um they are now not allowed to have anybody in their homes over christmas which is hard but anyway we'll figure it out but it's a it's been a tough year and what i want to share with you today is my top 10 tips to help you get through, to create the habits that are going to help you get through Christmas without added stress and added weight. I just listened to a great podcast this morning where they were talking about the power of habits and in particular why it's so critical now is because when you have good habits, your brain doesn't have to think again. And so it's calming. So if you've got disarray and you haven't got good habits, you're in competition, stress rises. So formulating those really, really good habits over um, the next few weeks in particular is really important. So I want to share my top ones with you. And if you've got other ones, please comment. Let me know. I'm just going to pop in quickly before we've got lots of people on. Hey, good morning. Hey, Chris. Great to have you on. And Deborah, welcome. Welcome. And Deborah Cohen, yeah, Canada is crazy. So my son's in Montreal. Um, they've been in lockdown now for four weeks, I think, and um, they are not allowed to have anyone in their homes. And Vancouver yesterday uh, announced 
um, that they can't have anybody in their homes that don't actually live in the homes. But, um, yeah, ch challenging times for, for, you know, especially when it's cold because Christmas is actually what gets you through the winter. Anyway, my kids are, are good. They're happy and they're working and, and um, um, they're okay. So at least they're working um, and they've got good friends around them. They're, you know, they'll be doing Zoom calls and Skype, you know, Facebook Live Christmases and all that stuff. They'll sort it out. But it's just hard for me being away and, and not being able to be with you. That's that's what I find difficult. Anywho, let's get on to this. All right, let's go for the top 10 tips I want to share with you. Number one, and this goes without saying, this, this, this one is my absolute, I, this is a non-negotiable, every day, without fail, and that's meditation. Um, it, to me, it's the thing that calms your mind most of all. And in order to get through any stress and challenge you have at Christmas time, meditation is the key, I believe. Um, and while I recommend 20 minutes, if you can have two minutes of meditation to sit quietly outside, maybe a cup of tea, just quietly letting your mind go. Now, the wonderful thing I love about meditation it makes me all creative. That's what I love most of all. Um, the shower is a perfect place to meditate. You know, just kind of stand there for a minute. And just, just let, the, you know, be focus on the water flowing over your body. But if you can make meditation part of your daily routine, it just feels better. It, it, it just calms the mind. And to me, if you don't do anything else, do that. 20 minutes, and if you can't find 20 minutes, old Buddhist saying, if you can't find 20 minutes to meditate, you need to meditate for an hour. <laughs> but find that space and time to do that. That's number one, so meditation. Number two, uh, of course, is EFT. Now, on my YouTube channel, www.sallytebow forward slash, oh, Sally, no, www.youtube slash Sally Tebow. I've now got heaps of, of YouTube videos on there. Uh, for tapping videos and you'll find something for everything and I think I've done a couple in the past where it's all about coping with Christmas stress I might add one actually this week yeah I might do that actually I might make a note of do that to add one for Christmas um, and just to help you get over the whatever is going on for you and I know for many people this year uh, Christmas may not be the same as, your, as normal. So it's just kind of coming to terms with that. So EFT, absolutely. Meditation, EFT. And again, you know, med you don't have to sit quietly, you know, zenning. You can actually tap while you're driving. I've done that heaps of times. Tap while I'm walking. Tap while I'm in the shower. It's not oh, tap while you're waiting for the kettle to boil. It's not something you actually have to set aside a different time for. It's a, it's a, it's ability to just find that space. Now, here's the thing about EFT. It's like if you can grab whenever you have a negative thought about something and, and go straight to it then, you that's where the gold is. It's those little what I call drive-by negative thoughts. Don't let it go on. Don't think, oh, I'll, I'll, oh whatever. Tap then. Even if it's walking through the shopping mall, use your finger tapping <laughs> or tap and hold, tap and hold, tap and hold. Don't, those, those little tiny drive-by negative thoughts hold so much gold. They're like little nuggets of gold that can really help you uncover what's going on for you. Um, and many of us are extremely judgmental of ourselves. And if you can grab that when you're judging yourself, when, you're, when you've got those negative thoughts going on, if you can grab those and tap on them, wow, you, you know, you just stay within that realm of empowerment. And so don't let those go. Number three, exercise. You know, over Christmas there can be a tendency to think, oh, whatever, <laughs> I'm not going to exercise. I'll start again in January. Look. 20 minutes, 20 minutes is all you need. Walk for 20 minutes, add two HIT, H-I-I-T, bursts of energy, and 
that's all you need. Two, 20 second. So you go. So what I recommend, you start walking, warm up after 10 minutes or so, or I say maybe eight minutes, add a 20 second walk as fast as you can. You want to be really breathing hard, walk as fast as you can or run if, it's, if your knees are okay and your back's okay. 10 minutes one way, turn around, come back. Now, if you've got some hills near your place, that's brilliant. I've got stairs of our bridge um, where we live and I run up those. Um, but that little burst of energy has been really shown um, to help kickstart your metabolism, number one. But it's got huge benefits for your heart. It's also great for your skin, you know, because you're really pumping um, the blood flow through the through the body and it's great for your skin. So 20 minutes walking with two minutes, 22 minutes, is that all again, Sally? 20 minutes walking, two HIT sessions in there. Um, and I recommend at least five times a week. Now, in the holidays, 20 minutes. If you've got kids, put them on bikes. Get them outside. Get them off their iPads. Get them outside um, with you. Um, jump in the pool. 20 minutes of deep water running. Um, and then the pool is great because you can get some real, um, some real resistance going. So even if it's too hot, we've got here in Queensland right now, it's really hot. So unless you're up early like me, too hot to be walking after around about 5.30, I reckon, at the moment, um, get in the pool. Swim for 20 minutes. You know, do some work in the pool. Number four, top tips, is strength work. Now, as we age, of course, we begin to lose muscle mass and we begin to lose bone density. Now, both of those you can increase by adding strength. And I recommend 20 push-ups, 20 squats, and a two-minute plank. It's going to take you less than five minutes to do. Maybe two minutes. Oh, no, maybe two minute planking. <laughs> five minutes. Go for your walk, come back, do the push-ups, do the squats, two minutes of planking, done. Done. And, and that's all you really need as far as that exercise goes. Number five is to stretch every day. We sit too much. We sit too much. So getting up out of your chair a couple of times, even if you're going to put on a cup of coffee, do some stretching in the kitchen, stretch your hamstrings, push the arms out, stretch the upper back, take the hands behind and stretch out the chest, reach up and stretch, go over to one side and then the other, but always after your workout routine. Now, flexibility is what keeps us young too because the flexibility is what, is what helps you if you're you know, in a situation where you're um, walking on uneven ground or if you're going to fall, your flexibility, if you're flexible, it can help you. So as you age in particular, um, but especially stretching out your lower back, um, as I said, upper back. So make sure you're adding that. So that's number five, and it really helps keep you vibrant. Number six of my top ten tips is practice intuitive eating over Christmas. Oh, no, you go, how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do that? All right, here we go. So with intuitive eating over Christmas, you're confronted by this table of food that's groaning in front of you. If you are in to um, restrictive eating or thinking you can't have something, you're going to want it more than um, ever. If you practice the four-step methodology to intuitive eating, that's asking, telling yourself, I now allow myself to eat anything I want on this table. I now allow myself to eat anything I want. What does my body really feel like? You get really in touch with that. And I honour the choices. Number three in the, in the four step of the jolly. I honour the choices my body makes. Don't go, oh, I shouldn't have the pag or I shouldn't have the gravy or I shouldn't have the mayonnaise on the prawns, whatever it is. No, I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. And then ask, how does my body feel after having this? Now, just by taking that 
20 seconds to ask yourself, instead of coming at it from restrictive eating, I shouldn't be eating it, da 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 da, your brain goes, okay, fine, what do I really, really want here? What do I really want? And, and in that moment, not I shouldn't be eating it or not, but oh, well, it's all like, you know, I'll go back into it the 1st of January. Just in that moment, you give yourself permission to eat the food that's right in front of you without telling yourself, judging yourself for what you want. It's like this calmness comes over you. You're not in restriction. Because when you have that, uh, I shouldn't be eating this, or, oh, well, whatever, you know, moment on the lips, lifetime on the hips, as my mother used to say all the time. When you're saying stuff like that, you're in restriction. When you give yourself permission to eat anything you want and trust your body, it's a totally different feeling, totally different. So I encourage you to practice intuitive eating. All right, how we go? But before we get on to the last three, let's have a look at the comments. Yeah, 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 it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous, dude. Right now I just shake my head and they're getting the vaccine next week. Anyway, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Nicole, EFT family saviour. So true, so true. I've been teaching my clients the finger points for Christmas lunch. Beautiful, beautiful, Nicole. Now, if anybody doesn't know what that is, is on, and that's literally squeezing the size of the fingers. You know when people bite their nails? There's a meridian point there. So squeezing the sides of the fingers with your hands under the table. If you're being triggered, sitting down having Christmas lunch with everybody, and they're saying things, you know, you don't agree with, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Yeah, great. Thanks for reminding me of that, Nick. That's fantastic. Yeah, cool. Okay, where are we? Where are we up to? Number, so we did the intuitive in. Number seven, practicing intermittent fasting. Can I tell you, and I've mentioned this heaps of times on the show before, when I first heard about intermittent fasting, I was not going to have a bar of it. To me, it was just another word for diet and restriction. I'm like, no, nah, not doing that. Nope, I'm nope, not even going to go there. I've, I've had a life since I was, you know, 14 years old and restricting what I ate. But the more research I've done into it, the more I realise it simply is a way of giving the body a rest, really. Um, and now the science behind it is quite incredible. The research behind it is really incredible. It can, you know, help reduce um, type 2 diabetes. Um, it can help with um, uh, heart disease. It's a whole lot of research. And you don't have to check on me. There's a guy called Dr. Volta, V-A-L-T-E-R, Longo, L-O-N-G-O, I think he is, has written a lot of books on it. Dr. Zach Bush talks about it all the time. Um, many of those biomed people um, talk about intermittent fasting and how, how powerful it is. I like what I call the um, fast uh, fast twice as long as you eat, so that it fits into the 2 and 20 principle, and that's the 16-8 protocol. And that simply means uh, finishing dinner, waiting 16 hours, before I eat again and about 11 o'clock. The, the criteria for that is though, that you are making sure you're drinking lots of water during that time, herb teas, coffee, but you know, that if it, you can have that black coffee. I tend to like the her herb teas and in this hot summer, uh, I love either an essential oil, a, a grapefruit um, or lemon in my water. Um, the doTERRA essential oils are beautiful, or um, just lime. I Limes are really cheap at the moment, and I bought some at the markets on Sunday, got quite a lot of them, and I've sliced them all up and put them in the freezer. I've got just in between baking paper. So they're frozen, so I just pull one out so it's a, like a, an ice cube and stick it in my drink, and that's really nice too. So um, drinking lots of – so while you're fasting, making sure you're drinking – lots of water and that leads me to uh oh and and then 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 make sure you finish your fast with a protein don't finish it with a carbohydrate that would push your blood sugar levels up so you know don't it's not an excuse to go woohoo now i'm having oh i don't know christmas cake for breakfast <laughs> no, no, no. 
a protein. So maybe some eggs, uh, you, you know, they've got leftover prawns, um, they're leftover turkey. Um, you know, we always we have a protein smoothie with um, with a green smoothie, green um, powder in it as well, um, and that keeps my blood sugar level elevated. And then just eat normally after that, just eat normally. Um, to you know, keeping that window open. Number eight, drink at least one liter, preferably two liters of water per day. That will keep your energy level up, especially for us here uh, in the in the hotter you know we had a lot of humidity here make sure you're really ramping the water up again you know if you don't like the taste of your water add something to it um lime another good thing to add is cucumber cucumber is lovely in water believe it or not so drink at least one to two liters of water a day um especially over christmas again you're going to keep your energy levels up when your energy levels are high you can cope with anything going on it's when your energy levels are low and you've eaten too much and you're feeling shitty, you know, just, you know, keep those water um, up. Number nine, we go to number nine, we've got two more to go, we're almost at the end. Number nine, add soda water to your wine or, so we have a glass of wine, we like ours, we have wine, ice and soda water in our, and um, so we have about that much wine, top, I top it almost to the top of the wine glass with um, ice and I really enjoy it or for every one glass of wine or champagne have one glass of water or sparkling water so you want to think in terms of half and especially during the day especially Christmas day um, or Christmas Eve whenever you have your family gatherings uh, just, you know alcohol can trigger stuff um, so just making sure I mean, it's not about not having it it's about just balancing it out. So that's it. Number 10. Number 10. Let me go over the top nine first. Number one, meditation. Number two, EFT. EFT, don't forget it. If it, you're a family function and people are driving nuts, just take off somewhere and tap. Tap. Be honest about what you're tapping on. Number three, 20 minutes times two HIT, 20 seconds. Strength. 20 push-ups, 20 squats, two minutes plank, done. Stretch every day, add five minutes of stretching to your day or making sure you're stretching during the day. Practicing intuitive eating, the four-step methodology, I now allow myself to eat anything I want. What does my body really feel like? I choose to honour the messages my body sends and then how does my body feel after eating this? Drink it, uh, intermittent fasting. That's wonderful. I just, I just love intermittent fasting. It will always end with a protein. Drink at least one to two liters of water a day. Cut your alcohol down by half by adding soda water to your wine or one glass of wine, one glass of water or sparkling water. Just keep that in your mind, you know, especially in the hot, in the heat. You know, we tend to, I'm a thirsty person. I tend to throw things back really quickly. That's, <laughs> that's why I always cut my wine down because I, I just drink it too fast. That's my problem. Number 10. Number 10. Slow down your eating. I like to challenge my clients to take at least 20 minutes to finish your meal. I find for many people who um, who want who want to release weight or are struggling to release weight will always tell me it's like I inhale my food. It's like I inhale my food. So stop. When you're sitting having dinner or lunch or breakfast, whatever you do, Take time, eat whatever you want, but sit with that food in front of you and, and just take your time to eat it, 20 minutes. When you do that, the hormone ghrelin and the hormone leptin, so ghrelin is your hunger hormone, leptin is your fullness hormone. Now, when you allow 20 minutes, both of those hormones can work properly. Are you hungry? And then you're slowing down your eating so it allows the leptin to kick in to let you know when you're full. Now, if you're stressed, you haven't had enough sleep, those things reverse. But taking that time, 20 minutes, eat your meal. I, I challenge you now, even now before Christmas. This is what we do at night. We, we've been challenged. I've been, I've got, I'm married to a slow eater, right? <laughs> slow. I grew up in a family of five. 
Catholic family, you do went down, you ate it because if you left stuff on your plate, someone would say, come and take it. Or, you know, you grab, you know, when we occasionally had dessert, we would eat it really quickly in case it melted or, you know, someone took it from us. Um, so learn to slow down. Mindful eating. And that doesn't require you to do anything else other than be involved in the conversation. Catch yourself if you're eating too quickly. And as I said, we've been ch I've been challenging myself to do this practice at night. We switch the TV off, we sit outside on the balcony, have some nice music playing and just eat slowly. All right, before I finish, let's check the comments. Filtered water, Deb, yeah, absolutely filtered water. Fantastic. Let me know as any of these things um, resonate with you. I want to just let you know also, if you're looking for a Christmas gift, uh, my book, Tapping to Reclaim You, it's only $19.95 for Christmas. Um, and you can go there by checking on that. Of course, there's Australian orders, um, overseas orders. It is on Amazon. Um, and one more thing before I finish is that um, if you are struggling in any way, I have one more strategy, literally, I do have one more strategy session and one more, uh, one more strategy session, one more coaching session, Sally, get it out, um, for um, 2020, uh, the at 2020 prices, so 2021, it's prices going up. Now, before I do go, so that's there if you want a strategy session, let me know in the comments below. This I've been running around this in my mind. If you'd be interested in a challenge, like a five-day challenge uh, over Christmas, no, sorry, before Christmas, a five-day challenge for one of those 10 things we talked about, or all of them, if you'd be interested in a group challenge, if you are, just put a yes at the in the comments below and I'll send you an email. But it's just something I'm rolling around in my mind that um, would be, might be good for next week. So let me know if you are interested in a challenge a five day let's get through christmas in one piece challenge so remember 10 steps let me know if they have helped you at all today and if it's going to you know make a difference in your life we are well over the 20 minutes <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you'd love to be in that challenge and i'll send out some information let's see what we can do i can help you guide Thank you, everybody. And again, thank you to NAS Cosmetics, my new sponsor. And uh, and I'll pop a link in the comments below where you can find out more about NAS Cosmetics. And uh, can I tell you, they're absolutely beautiful. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you for being on this morning, uh, today. I hope some of those tips will help you get through Christmas with less stress and less weight. All right, everybody, have a great day and I shall see you this time next week for the last show uh, before for 2020, last show for 2020 next week. All right, have a wonderful day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.